Are you surprised at, at how stubborn and persistently high these inflation readings are coming out? Well, it's good to see you, Sarah. And um, look, obviously, it's not a great uh, CPI report. Um, but I think it would be easy to overstate how much it changes where we are. Um, I actually don't think it changes the course of what the Fed needs to do from uh, where it would have been if it had been a good report. Uh, they have been clear that they need to make sure that uh, they've dealt with inflation. Um, they're going to get to a certain destination, which uh, it, you know, is, is going to be higher than it would have been a year ago. Uh, and then they're going to see how it, 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 the economy looks after things settle in for a while. I think the markets are anticipating bigger moves in response to each report than I would think is likely. And I think that they're hoping for quicker reversals of interest rates than I think is likely. It's, um, you know, they're going to want to be sure that inflation is under control. And I think they've been very clear communicating that. And uh, this report uh, just makes it uh, more understandable uh, why. Where do you think interest rates are going? How high? So I, 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 as you know, try to avoid uh, point predictions because nobody really knows. Um, you know, the, the markets certainly are, are suggesting uh, that uh, that there's some number in the in the fours where they think they're, the interest rates are going. If uh, if I were on the Fed, I would answer that I don't know. It depends where we are when we get to the the current destination, whether inflation is under control. Um, I don't think there's any great desire to slam on the brakes so hard that we drive unemployment up to a truly painful level. On the other hand, unemployment tends to lag. You know, there's no mystery to what happens when you raise interest rates. Over time, it slows the economy. It's only a question of how long it takes. And there was a chorus for a long time that the Fed should move faster and farther uh, mm -hmm. in order to make sure inflation is under control. I think they moved in a pretty cautious way, but they made clear they're going to keep going. And I don't think anyone should be surprised if the number has a four in front of it uh, before they take a, a, a breath to see where they are. Um, now, I spent a lot of years where three and four percent interest rates didn't seem like an abnormal number. And I don't think uh, it's something that's necessarily a, a shock to the economy uh, over a period of time. But it does make it uh, more expensive to borrow money than when rates were zero. Zero was not sustainable, and um, uh, we obviously are getting uh, to a much higher number. So the question is, what happens to the economy, and what is currently happening to the economy? I, I did speak this week with Secretary Yellen, who now sits in, in, the, in the chair that you sat in as Treasury Secretary, and I asked her about how the U.S. was doing. She characterized the economy as strong. Just listen to what she said. I remain encouraged the U.S. economy is strong, and as I've said on other occasions, I think there's a path through. Obviously, inflation is too high. It's a priority to lower it. But I think there's a path to accomplish that while maintaining a healthy labor market. Does this feel like a strong economy to you? The NASDAQ's 34 percent off the highs. The S&P's 25 percent. People are hurting with inflation. Does it feel strong? Yeah, look, I think if you look at the, the typical measures of a strong economy, the lowest unemployment rate in, in a very long time, you know, job creation that's staying stronger than uh, expected, those are signs of core strength in the economy. At a time when you're trying to push inflation down and you're raising interest rates in order to accomplish that goal, um, one has to wonder how long that can last. Um, I think it has to slow down. The you know, job creation has to slow down. Unemployment is going to have to creep up. But I agree with the basic assessment that the, the core economy remains quite strong. In some ways, that stubborn strength is what's making the Fed's job more challenging. If unemployment would just creep up a little bit and job creation would creep down a little bit, there would be a sense that they're getting closer to the end. Um, I think because we've come out of a very odd period the COVID shutdown caused changes and disruptions that we still haven't fully understood that what it takes to transition out of. History doesn't really help you that much to know exactly what it's going to take to get to a more stable inflation rate and, uh, and without, uh, without you know, the economy 
uh, sending some signals like slower job growth. I, I, I think the goal yeah. ought to be a soft or a bumpy landing, not an unnecessarily hard recession. 